Social media giant Twitter is officially rebranding to X. Ever since the company was privately acquired by Elon Musk in 2022, we've seen a slew of changes, and this rebrand is by far the biggest one yet, partly because this is a fundamental pivot into a much larger direction, a much bigger vision for the social media platform that Musk recently hinted at, which could be really big for the entire Web 3.0 and crypto space and can onboard lots of new people into this ecosystem. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master, step-by-step -step finish, break into the blockchain industry, increase your salary well past 100K, I can show you how to do that over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about this big Twitter rebrand to X and how it could be a massive deal for all of crypto and Web 3.0. So first of all, like in case you've been living under a rock the past week, Twitter is now X. At the time of recording this video, if you go to twitter.com, you can see the X logo up in the left-hand corner. And apparently soon, you'll actually be able to go to x.com and access the application that way. So what's the deal? Well, recently, you know, Musk has been talking about transitioning Twitter from just a social media application to more of an everything app. And I'm just sort of connecting the dots here that that's part of the rebrand. You know, X being an all-encompassing brand name that sounds more like a nebulous variable name of which you don't exactly know what the value is. But it's also gained a lot of attention online because, you know, X.com brings a lot of other connotation to people's minds like this guy. You know, he said he's very excited for the day when his wife finds an $8 a month charge to a site called X.com. Now, all jokes aside, I want to drill down on one major part of this pivot to the everything app with X. And a big part of doing that is money. And that's exactly what Elon Musk was talking about this past week. Let me show you a quick clip of this interview. Essentially, if, if, if done right, the X would be, would, would serve people's financial needs to such a degree that over time it would become, I don't know, maybe half of the global financial system. Now that's absolutely crazy. You know, half of the global financial system, you know, give or take. Now, that's a big deal. And my inference is that blockchain and crypto will be a big part of this. In fact, I've been talking about this for more than a year on this channel ever since Elon Musk was talking about buying Twitter in the first place. I made predictions about Elon buying you know, Twitter and it having an impact on crypto, making it more of a Web 3.0 platform, had many speculations on how he might do this. And it looks like those things are starting to come true. You know, Initially, uh, Elon Musk was on Twitter uh, before he purchased it talking about, you know, the algorithm and is there a way to make the Twitter algorithm open source to solve some of those pain points for social media. And then around the time of the purchase, there were some text messages that were made public as part of a legal proceeding. And inside those text messages, Elon Musk expressed his intent of creating a blockchain-based social media firm. And this was all before he purchased Twitter in the first place. And so if I'm connecting the dots correctly, and that's actually what's happening here, and we will use blockchain in the future with X, and it does become successful, then how is this a big deal for crypto? Well, it goes without saying, if X does become you know, half of the global financial system that Musk is talking about, or even if it's anywhere close, even if it's just like 10%, that's already going to grow the pie for the crypto space far beyond what it is today. And going even further than that, it's going to onboard an insane number of new users into the blockchain ecosystem who aren't here now, you know, just buying cryptocurrencies and speculating on what their price is going to be in the future or using you know, decentralized finance or DeFi, which is a really small niche in finance on the grand scheme of things. It has the potential to have a future of blockchain where people don't even necessarily know they're using blockchains behind the scene to create a user experience that's seamless, that I think you know models more of what blockchain mass adoption would look like in the future. That's the potential on the table. And so how are you gonna do that? Well, let's break down into Elon Musk's comments a little bit more. You know, he talks about making this the most efficient database for the thing that is money. Okay, that's what he said in the interview. And then also, you know, hinting that if it involves money in any way, then that's what X could be used for. So what are the use cases? Well, number one, you know. Payments are a pretty obvious one. This is the low-hanging fruit that a lot of people have, you know, tackled when using crypto. So, you know, think about any type of peer-to-peer -peer payment, things that you might use Venmo for right now, or your bank's bill pay system, 
or you know even just paying at point of sale checkouts like you know buying coffee or groceries or something like that basically it takes all this stuff which is currently controlled by you know different layers from old school banking rails that settle transactions under the hood to credit card payment processors to wallet solutions like Apple Pay or Venmo, which all kind of work different ways, but coalesces these disparate technologies into a single place where essentially you have this infrastructure that settles financial transactions across the entire globe and an app that plugs straight into that. It cuts out all these other layers to where you could do things more efficiently, more real time like Musk is talking about without having to wait for these settlements, for these disputes cutting down on fraud, and really streamlining crypto payments in a way that we've all been taking advantage of, you know, us insiders in the crypto space to date, and bringing that to the masses. And now payments are just one part of the equation. If he's talking about it being the financial system, there's so much more than just payments, okay? We're talking about any type of investment, tapping in traditional brokerage accounts and things like that. There's trillions and trillions of dollars in wealth in that sector alone. Things like trading, which obviously we're doing a lot of that in the crypto space right now, and also earning yield. And I think yield's a big use case for the average Joe who may not be, you know, savvy or active investor. You know, it's not really that hard of a pitch to say like, hey, you're earning, a, you know, maybe maximum 1% interest in your bank account. Why don't you just download an app that lets you save money and earn interest that's more competitive to your bank? If we can do that with blockchains, if we can do that with an app, that already has trust, like X, you know, a massive giant, which is not some sketchy app that you're just downloading that's, you know, just a small VC backed project that has really easy onboarding, really easy user experience. That's not a bad pitch for the average everyday user. You know, all these things we're already doing inside of crypto, and it's taking these to the mainstream use case and putting them inside of a massive app that already has an insane number of users where they can just seamlessly onboard to this type of experience. And don't forget, you know, Elon Musk is the co-founder of PayPal, and he knows a thing or two about payments and how, you know, we can take payments and make them better. And he's been on the peripherals of the blockchain space for quite some time now. And so the next big questions, you know, if this is right, if we do actually see X become more of a financialized app, I don't know if that's a word or not. And if that does end up using blockchain underneath the hood for all that type of stuff, then how? Okay, what blockchain are they going to be using? How will they implement it? Well, it's really hard to say. The best that I can do is speculate in this case. Um, I really doubt that X would create their own blockchain um, I think there's too many risks here with securities laws. Again, not a legal expert, but that's just my guess here. It's also very hard from a technical perspective to bootstrap a blockchain that's actually unique to get decentralization and security and all those types of things. Probably more advantageous for them just to build off of current public blockchain infrastructure. Now, that being said, if it's an existing blockchain, which one's it going to be? Well, there's, of course, lots of speculation that it would be, you know, Dogecoin because Elon Musk has a pretty extensive history with Doge. He likes to be a little bit of a joker. And it wouldn't surprise me if at least Dogecoin was one option for doing payments on something like X. Of course, no, that's financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy any of these cryptocurrencies is a speculation for this, but I do see that as one possible option. Now, I also see the limitations of what you can actually do with Dogecoin. And so it may not actually provide the flexibility nor the scalability that would be required to actually run something like X. So that leads me to other thoughts like Ethereum. You know, Ethereum is going to have more of a generalized support for smart contracts and applications that can be built in order to run this, especially with DeFi. Of course, it's not going to have the scalability that's required at the base layer. But of course, that's what layer two scaling solutions will be for. You know, I don't have any special insight into this. That's just me taking the next logical leap about what's the best technology that's fit uh, to start doing something like this. And, you know, full disclosure, I don't think all that technology stack's quite ready just yet to take over half the global financial ecosystem that, you know, Musk is talking about, but all this stuff could be developed over time alongside of X to get to that point. And so it's really hard to say. So I could, you know, see this potentially, you know, testing some different things out to a limited release where a small number of active users get access to these features before they roll it out to the general public, but nobody knows for sure just quite yet. Now, that being said, let's also look at what the competition is doing, okay? Because that's a pretty good indication of where this might go. So that's kind of a counterintuitive business idea, you know, actually go where there is competition because if there's smart people going after those opportunities, that means that there is an opportunity probably here and that there's probably also demand and a very large addressable market. So to me, it's no accident that this announcement with X, you know, came at a very close time to when OpenAI or ChatGPT's CEO announced the launch of WorldCoin, which essentially is aiming to be a global system for universal basic income, along with biometric scans that can prove unique personhood 
on a blockchain. It wouldn't surprise me if, you know, X tries to pursue a similar route. And also you have to think about their other competition. It's kind of ironic that Elon Musk bought, you know, Twitter, which was previously Jack Dorsey's company. Jack was also working on Square, you know, Cash App, which also rebranded to Block to focus on blockchain-based payments. All these people are pursuing very similar goals. Now, that being said, if Twitter goes in this direction of, you know, taking over payments, taking over lots of financial activities and does something similar to what their competition is doing with decentralized identity management or DIM, that's a term that I coined on this channel, then we could see X start to become part of the decentralized identity layer where you actually need some type of proof that you are who you say you are on the blockchain aside from just a private key. And maybe we start to see things like uh, biometric data where you can authenticate to prove that you are who you say you are through X to where you can store uh, hopefully privately more personal information to prove more information about yourself online, like your age, maybe your income, et cetera, et cetera, so that you can streamline more processes that need this type of proof online, like getting loans or applying for any type of financial service. And so that's where all this could head. You know, we could be in a future where X sort of becomes an everything app that can do a lot of things, but really importantly, you know, is able to manage your identity online, hopefully in a safe, secure fashion, and also becomes a big part of the global financial system by facilitating payments or any financial activity that you do online, whether it's lending, earning yield, brokerage, payments, et cetera, et cetera. And if we do get to that point and blockchain becomes an integral part of that entire thing, this can onboard an insane number of users into this space simply because of the number of people that already use Twitter that more or less trust Twitter as opposed to some brand new application. And it could be a chance for people to actually use blockchain behind the scenes where they may or may not even know that they're using blockchain underneath the hood. They don't have to. It just does what it's supposed to do and pushes us that much closer towards mass adoption. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is that the direction that X is actually going to go? Are they going to be able to pull this off? Are they going to be able to use blockchains underneath the hood? Which blockchain do you think they're going to use? Is it going to be Doge? Is it going to be Ethereum? Is it going to be something completely new that's unreleased? I don't know from you. Make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. And once you do, of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications down below. That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast as the technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like these videos and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I should have become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.